Hello students, how are you? I hope you all had a great summer. My name is Ling, Thuy Ling Nguyen, but people often call me Ling. I am, uh, it is my great pleasure to be instructor for, for this class, Foundation to Historical Studies. And I feel like it's very unfortunate that I could not see you uh, in our face-to-face -face meeting because of the rules of social distancing. So every face-to-face uh, -face meeting, we would have a number of students who have to watch the Zoom lectures instead of going uh, on campus and stay in the Hudson Hall 003. Uh, anyway, we're going to try to make uh, the best of this situation. Um, okay, so uh, for our class today, we're going to go over, um, you know, the major requirements for this class. I'm going to, uh, you know, get you through the syllabus, um, you know, and if we have a time at the end of the class today, we're going to talk a little bit about the many uses of history or, you know, trying to answer a basic question. Why do we need to study history? And what, basically it's a sum up of what this class is going to be about, okay? But before going through uh, the class syllabus, I just want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Lin, or you already know, okay? I'm an associate professor of history. I have been teaching at the Mount for more than 10 years. I'm the only female historian at this school. And at the, the Mount, uh, I'm in charge of teaching uh, mostly non-Western history courses, such as History of Asia, uh, the Modern Middle East, uh, Modern East Asia, International Relation, and this is uh, and this is a very special course, Foundation to Historical Study. This course and uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Reynold uh, uh, class. Uh, you know, he, he also had teaching another class, this class, and that class are part of what we call, um, you know, uh, a, a part of what we call a method classes in, in, in history. And we expect that all of our history majors would take my class and his class. Uh, uh, okay, so that is it about me. And now we're going to open our class syllabus. Um, anyway, for in order for these uh, Zoom lectures uh, to go well, you need, uh, you know, of course, an access to the computer. But import, more importantly, your computer must have Microsoft Offices so that you can open Word document. Okay, and also if you use your cell phone, uh, you also need, uh, you know, you also need. Um, you know, uh, the, the software to open Microsoft Word and also to have you type because you have to type in to fill in the handout for our lecture today. So very important, right? And that's why I strongly recommend you use the computer instead of, uh, of a cell phone. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, so now I'm going to share my screen with you right, so that we could both look at the same things here, okay? Uh, share. Okay, so I'm gonna share you with my screen. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so now I want you to log into e class. Okay, so e class. And you see, I, our class is right here. You click on this glass, I can see. and you can see a number of topics for, for this. Right, the syllabus, all these assignments, the discussion forum, the rules for our Zoom lectures, like the one we are doing it right now, I will do it right now, and the forums. Okay, so you click on the syllabus, you can see a highlight highlight the syllabus, but then uh, you need to still need to open this syllabus. Can you do it? I can do it right now. Can you do it with me? Okay, we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, click on it. Okay, so <clears throat> Okay, 
Okay, so this is our syllabus. You know, and now I'm gonna give you like two minutes, okay, two minutes to go through this syllabus. Okay, you could read the syllabus silently, okay, and then after that two minutes, I'm gonna go over this document with you. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's do it. You don't need to remember every single details right now because there's a lot of things here, okay? Just go over to see the major content of this document. I, I'm really not attendant right now. The assignments, the grade distribution, okay? Okay, just read it right? yourself at your own pace. You don't have to follow me, but then, um, you know, just do it. This, while you are reading the syllabus, I'm going to open the PowerPoint slides for our class for this lecture, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna go over the syllabus, okay? <laughs> okay, so on the top of the syllabus, you can see my contact information and uh, my email address. I, I think, uh, okay, so I'm very responsive to email. So normally I would be able to answer your email within the same day or maybe, uh, you know, all the ladies going to be the next day. But, um, you know, when you email me, I'm going to be able to, uh, you know, respond to you uh, very, very quickly. Right? Um, and I prefer uh, students contact me through through email. Right? Um, and, uh, okay, I think I got it wrong here. Okay, so our office hours uh, would be on Friday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Zoom. Okay, uh, and um, because of the pandemic, there could be no face-to-face -face office hour. And instead, we're going to meet in Zoom through a private Zoom conference. Right? So um, um, I need you to email me to set up an appointment for a Zoom conference on, on Friday. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and of course, our class has a class uh, here, right? You know, and that's why everyone need to have access to internet and um, and, and also e-class in order to complete uh, the online portion for this for this class 
okay, our, about our schedule for this class. On Monday and Wednesday, we're going to meet on Hudson Hall, at Hudson Hall 003, right? And on Friday, instead of going to campus, we're going to meet online on an e-class forum. Okay, so, we're going to meet here, right? I'm going to explain the forum later, okay? And after Thanksgiving, everything could be fully online. Basically, we're gonna, not going to meet after Thanksgiving. Everything could have to conduct it through e-class. Okay, about the major assignments uh, and grade distribution for this class, uh, there, is, there is very important information. Right? I need you guys to keep in mind about all these assignments so that you 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 you, you could um, you know you would not be able to um, you, you, you can you can complete uh, this course successfully uh, the, my old my biggest fear is that students often forget to do one or two things uh, you know and if you focus on assignments you're gonna lose uh, you know a credit for that assignment and um, even though some assignments the the great um, distribution for the assignment are, are small like for example for the skill exercises for this class each, uh, each uh, exercise account for only 2.5 percent of the grade but please keep in mind that um, you know all uh, together they made up for 10 percent of your grade and that's why everyone have to work on every single assignment for this class okay don't think of any assignment as too tiny not 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 worth your time okay so um anyway uh the skill exercise 10 percent of the grade right and what are they the skill exercise come from this uh this uh, this textbook the textbook the methods and skills of history right and every one of you have to purchase this book i think our campus bookstore has it if you couldn't find it at the campus bookstore you can purchase it from amazon I really need, need really need you to bring this book to our class on Monday and Wednesday. Okay, and uh, on, on Wednesday this week we're gonna do the first exercises from, from this book. Okay, and almost for every face-to-face uh, -face meeting on Monday and Friday, uh, I'm sorry, on Monday and Wednesday we're gonna uh, complete these skills uh, exercises from this book. Okay, uh, uh, but then uh, at the end of this meeting, at the end of these, um, uh, you know, Monday and Wednesday uh, lectures, I'm going to collect these skill exercises for grading, right? But <clears throat> you only need to submit four of them to me, four times, only four times, okay? You're going to need to work on all of them, but only four of them, right, will be counted towards your final grade and you have a choice right which day you want to submit these skill exercises to me okay um okay that is the skill exercises and then the friday discussion forums uh, i think we have 11 forums for this class but you can choose to work on 10 of them and that means you could miss one forum Okay, no problem, no big deal. Maybe you will be busy, right? Doing something on that forum and suddenly you forget that, hey, today's Friday and you need to do something. Anyway, if you, um, you know, if you miss one forum, that's going to be okay. But for the rest of the 10 forum, you have to work on all of them because each of them count for 4% of your final grade and all 10 of them make 40%. Okay, so very, very important that you have to work on the assignment on this forum. Okay, and what are these forum about? Okay, this forum right here, right? the discussion forum. I'm gonna briefly go over the rule for our discussion forum, right? Um, so we're gonna meet on a forum on a Friday, and for each Friday, for example, for this Friday, which one, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna basically I'm gonna post some questions for you to answer. Okay, sometimes I'm gonna post some reading materials some visual materials for you right? and I, I want you to answer this question right? on the forum right when you when you answer this question that is your what I call your uh, you know your rest uh, your initial post right? 
Right? So, okay, so number. Right? The initial post, right? The initial post is how you answer my questions for the week for the for, for this forum, right? And the initial post is due by Friday at midnight. And then by Sunday at midnight, you need to post a response to a classmate's post. Uh, basically, right, you need to express whether you agree or disagree with a classmate. A classmate's post, right, so what they call a response post, right, you reply to them via the forum, okay? And very crucial thing about the forum is that let post do not count towards the forum grade. Okay, so if you if you if you missed, right, if you miss so many of the posts, or if you post them after the due date, for example, if you post your initial post after Friday at midnight, you're not gonna get any credit from that. So that's why keep in mind, right? Friday at midnight, initial post, Sunday at midnight respond post okay and i have extra uh requirement about the post like the the length of the post um you know like i expect the initial post to have at least 250 words and all the posts have to be written in full paragraph okay um and and for the forum post right consistency punctuality and civility are the very important rules for this for this forum okay uh, and um, okay so keep in mind right that this week you're gonna need to work on the forum on friday okay you have to answer my question by friday at midnight and then remember respond to a classmate a classmate's post by sunday at midnight Okay, so that is the Friday's discussion forum. Beside the discussion forums, we have three writing assignments, one, two, three, right? And uh, I already posted all of the, uh, you know, the rules or some instruction for this writing assignment, right? On here, uh, for example, writing assignment number uh, one, uh, which is due on October the 14th. Uh, you can click on this. Okay, so uh, what you have to do for this writing assignment, you need to write a two full page essay to compare and contrast two journals, articles, or two books written on the same topic. Now you can see more information about these questions here, right? And, uh, and then, uh, you know, the, the due date is October the 14th, right? Uh, uh, Okay, similar things for the writing assignment two and three. If you have time, you might want to go over these writing assignments. But if you don't, that's okay. We still have a lot of time, right, to work on them, to prepare for them. Okay, and um, um, yeah, that's uh, that's about these uh, writing assignments, and they are very important because three writing assignments made up fifty percent of your final grade. Okay, and I have the extra participation credit, right? This is 2%. So what does it mean? Right? I would give this extra 2% of the final grade to those who are active in the forum post, right? So basically, I'm expecting every one of you to post one initial post and one response post, right? But then if you can post more than one response post to to your classmate that could be wonderful right basically instead of just answering one person you would reply to like two or three other classmates and i would count these forum posts these response posts as a as a as a, as a um, you know as a uh, uh, manifest of your active participation uh, and at the end of the semester I'm gonna count how many response posts each of you have, right? And those who have a lot of response posts are gonna get this actual credit, right? And also during our face-to-face -face meeting on Monday and Wednesday, if you are active in your contribution, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna count them too. Okay, so be active, right? Because this class is all about, not just about me, not, it's not about the lecture, it's about you, right? And I really, really hope that you guys are gonna join me in this discussion. A lot of very interesting and as I said, how controversial, uh, you know, topics for this class and it would be wonderful if I get, uh, you know, your opinions, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, important new date, right? Easy. Forum post Friday by midnight. Remember Friday by midnight this week, the first forum, okay? Sunday by midnight, uh, you know, respond post. And also the, uh, the deadline for the writing assignment. Okay, um, something, uh, some other thing that I want you to remember is the attendance, right? attendance policy. So attendance is, is required for this class and you are expected to attend all in-person meetings and online sessions on e-class. So um, <clears throat> each student, but then I understand that thing happen, things happen, right? Sometimes, you know, you know, you, you feel under the weather, you are sick, or basically sometimes you just get tired of seeing me, right? You don't want to, uh, you know, to, to attend my lecture. That's okay, I understand, okay? So in these circumstances, you can, you, 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 you can, you can, you can be absent from class without, without explaining. You don't need to, to email me to tell me why, why you are missing classes, okay? But it can have only happen twice in the semester. Right? Beyond these two unexcused absences, each additional unexcused absence would lead to, here you can see, one point direction from the final score of, of the course. Right? And for e class forum and Zoom lecture, your attendance for these online activities would be tracked by your completion of the online assignment for the day. For example, on Friday, yeah, if you forget to post your initial post on Friday, okay, um, you're gonna lose the attendance point for, for the day, right? Uh, also, I want to uh, talk a little bit about the Zoom lectures, okay? Um, as you can see, right, at least three of you would have to attend a Zoom lectures instead of face-to-face -face meeting, right? And here on eClass, you can see, I have specific rules for these room lectures, right? Okay, <clears throat> the things that you have to do for this, okay? <clears throat> Basically, right, for these room lectures, of course you have to listen to my lectures, okay? But while listening to my Zoom lecture, you need to open the handout for the lectures. For example, for today, okay, you will need to uh, oh, I forget. Did I did I put a, a handout in today? Okay, I forgot. Okay, I'm gonna do it right now. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be able to now. Um. Oh, sorry about this. Um. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I think it's right here. Let's see uh, the handout for today. Wait. We let, let me see. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry, it is okay. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. So, for example, for today, hi. Now you don't have to read right now, but in a couple of minutes you would have to do it, right? Uh, for example, you would have to open the handout for today. Okay, and then um, you know you um, can can you do it right now? Basically, can you do it right now, right? 
can you um, download the file into your computer? Right. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. And uh, for the Zoom lecture, right? Often, you know, we have a hand now here. You have to download into your computer. And while listening to my lecture, you need to fill in. You need to fill in the the, the contents of the lectures. And at the end of the lectures, right, you would have to submit your handout as a proof of your attendance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, anything else that I need to, to tell you? Anyway, basically, that is, that is the overview, uh, you know, of, of the syllabus of e class, uh, you know, of our forums, our writing assignment, our Zoom lectures, right? There's a lot of information, but you don't need to remember all of them, right? We're gonna do it, you know, step by step, right? And uh, if there's an important deadline or any, any, anything that you need to to remember, I'm going to remind you in class right? and of course through the Zoom lectures, right? Okay, so now can you open the handout for our class today? Okay. You click on here, right? And it is here. Right? Okay. <clears throat> can you open it? Yes. Right. Okay, so. <clears throat> Today, we're going to talk about this class, right? The major content for this class. And we're going to try to answer a basic question. Why study history, right? Um, <clears throat> so for this class, if you look at the syllabus, can you open your syllabus right now? Right? Okay. Can you scroll down at the end of the syllabus? Right, you can see a schedule for our class, right? The major contents here. So there are three parts for this class. The first part of the class, I could explain for the first part of the class, I'm gonna explain the main concepts in historical thinking, right? So maybe I'm gonna give you one minute for you to think, right? The question is, maybe I'm gonna open it. I am, right? The question is, what are the main concepts in history? What are we trying to find out here right, when we study history? Okay, maybe for you, one minute for you to think. As a historian, right? As a historian, what do you need to know? What is it all about, basically? Right, the main concept as a historian. So the thing that you have to keep in mind. Maybe a couple of seconds for you to brainstorm, right? These questions. Okay, so the major concepts in historical thinking. Right? If you take a look at the, the syllabus, right, you can see here. This is the first part of the class. Yeah. Basically, everything we study up until the first writing assignment. Right. So what is it about? Right. Okay, are you ready with the hand now? Right. The main concept in historical thinking. Right. It is the purpose. We're going to talk about that later in kind of a couple of minutes. Right? Other things, other important concepts in history. Right? The 
the causes of events, of things. Right? Why, why, why did it happen? Right? Why did it happen? Was that internal and external factors and the consequences of these events? For example, right, the French Revolution in eighty uh, in seventeen eighty nine. What happened? Right? Was there something wrong with the political, right, in economic situation of France under King Louis the City? Right? What was going on in France that motivated people to to march onto the street to break into the Bastille prison? Okay, the causes, and we look at the causes from different angles. Was that economic, political, intellectual, environment, even environmental, right? Weather, right? Uh, the, the problem with the with the weather, the, the drought, right? Uh, you know, uh, you know, a natural disaster, right? There's certain things here, right? Basically, the causes are the basics of history. History is actually so about causes and also consequences. The consequences of the French Revolution, the short term, the long term, its impact on 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 the peasantry, on the aristocracy, right, on on women, on the intellectual traditions, and on the larger European and world history. Right? We, we look at the causes and and effect, right, and then other other things. Uh, main concept in history is interpretation. How to interpret historical sources? How to make a judgment whether it is wrong or right? Right? Um, you know, uh, all of these concepts very, you know, very controversial. Right? And we're gonna we're gonna study later, right? But then I want you to keep in mind, history is also is about interpretation and and, and, and judging, right? Using you know coming up with your own conclusion, with your own judgment, with your own interpretation of events, of historical figures, uh, you know, you know, something like that, right? Uh, <coughs> and then, right, other main concept in, in, in history, right? You can see, mm -hmm. right? uh, it's almost all about, right, about the sources. What are the major sources in history? How to use them? Right? How to use them for, for your research? Right? And another important source in history is periodization. Right? Timing, okay? Chronology. How to put event right? in sequences, right? In certain period. How to divide, how to how to put things in an organized manner, okay? That is periodization. There are some of the concepts that I'm, I can think of right now, right? Um, you know, and doing history, practice. What, what does it mean? Doing history, right? What does it mean? Being a historian, right? Doing history is about, right? Reading, right? Reading sources, interpreting sources. Come on, moving up with your own conclusion. Right? That's also about writing. Right? About writing. Right? Conduct research, writing historical paper, essay, article, books, how to write, writing and style, right? How to cite, right? Right? And it's also about. Do history, and sometimes people say it's about presenting history, presenting your opinion in front of an audience at a conference, in front of your classmate, right? Uh, history um, and beyond, you know, for this class, is that history just just what we are doing right now, like studying in class, listening to lecture, reading the textbook? No, history is more than that, right? History is also about film, right? And history on film, because written materials are not the only vehicles for us to understand the past, right? History is also reflected through, through films, 
another reading material, audios, right? Um, you know, a painting, right? So even sculptures, okay? all of these tiny evidences of the past, and not every one of them have to be written, okay? And also museum, right? Museum, right? It's a good way for us to understand the past. Historical side, even cemetery, but cemetery also have to, to, to know more about the history of the location of those who, who passed away, right? For example, the veteran um, cemetery, right? You know, of the Vietnam War. If you go there, you're gonna get a sense of how these, how these cemetery, how these, um, you know, memorial help us better understand our past, right? And so, history and other disciplines, okay? So in other disciplines, uh, the relationship between history and other similar fields, like history and anthropology, history and sociology, the connections, right? Because history does not stand alone. Like it, it was it is built up not only from from from, from what history historians have written but also from other knowledges other bodies of knowledges right um, in, in other fields and that's why we so need to see the connections between what we're doing right now and what other scholars in other disciplines are doing okay okay i think yeah the last question for you to think for today is to answer the question why study history okay so now i'm gonna give you guys four minutes for you to tie in your answer to tie in your answer right now right like, can you tie in your answer and then when we come to class on wednesday i'm gonna come back to these questions okay we're gonna talk and discuss in class about why study history Okay, so three minutes for you to do it, okay? At the end of the lecture today, when three minutes uh, you know, are up, can you say, for example, right? For example, you can write, right? Um, you know, you can write more, more here, okay? And then you will save it. Okay? You put it in. Your folder, for example, right, let's see, you could um, save it. Your computer, whatever, okay? You know, whatever folder you feel comfortable with, okay? For example, I put it in uh, yeah, the handout folder, right? Uh, and then I'm gonna write like okay now. Okay, four, four, four. Okay. Um. You write a name, uh, the date. Okay, Monday. For example, this is for Monday, so it's uh, uh twenty fourth August. You save it. Okay, and after that, right, after that, you go back to to the to e class. You click on it. Okay, uh, give me a minute.
Okay, so after that, can you click on this for me? Okay, can you click on and you, this is the form, uh, you know, this is the view from, uh, from, uh, from, from my computer and um, the instructor, but from your computer as a student, you would be able to, uh, uh, you know, to submit your, your handout. Can you down, uh, upload your handout here, okay? And uh, everyone uh, could have until August, the end of August, tomorrow, to submit this handout as a proof of your attendance. I'm not going to grab this handout. I only look at that to make sure that you already, you actually watch the lectures and you take note, okay? And, um, you know, no matter what happened, right, what, what, whatever you, you wrote, right, as long as they reflect, uh, you know, what we study, what we, and what I talk about during the lecture, uh, you know, I'm going to mark you as, uh, as, uh, <coughs> as a present for, 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 for this class. Okay, I think that's it for today. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And also, please keep in mind that, um, you know, uh, this is my first uh, pre-recorded Zoom lecture. So I think there are still a lot of things that I need to improve. If you have any feedback on, on these uh, lectures uh, or any future lectures, please let me know via email or you can talk to me after class. Um, um, I really need your feedback. Uh, whether the lecture is running too fast or too slow, whether you are comfortable, uh, comfortable multi multitasking, uh, you know, during the lecture, please let me know. Okay, so um, have a have a good day, and uh, I'm gonna see you in class later. Bye bye.